What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Money Gang Crypto. How do we establish ourselves and grow our community and our network to other communities, to people like Bitcoin Maxis, people who are in the Ethereum chain? Well today, something very exciting happened and I think it was the best and purest example of what to do when you want to talk to people in crypto who are not on your blockchain. I think that Hexy Bastard did a fantastic job. He was on the crypto show called Crypto Town Hall. It has guys like Mario Narfall. It had guys like Crypto Man Ran. It had guys like uh, the Wolf of All Streets, people like that. Many big influencers, quote unquote influencers in the space. Big Bitcoin guys, big Ethereum guys. And it was a paid show. It was a paid promotion of the nine inch decks on both Ethereum and Pulse Chain. What was brilliant was the way that Hexy decided to conduct himself. It wasn't coming in, me versus you. It wasn't, hey, I'm RH products and you're an Ethereum guy. It was more of a case where, as he put it in his own words, a shaking of hands. It was a bringing together, a bridging together of value. And he brought out the jokes. He was talking about where the concept came from for Nine Inch. He was asked some great questions and it was just a fantastic way to conduct himself. I'm gonna put it right now in this video so you guys can have a little listen, but I think this is the best possible way to conduct yourself. Not everyone's gonna love the RH product, but Pulse Chain is bigger than just Richard Hart. Let's, let's be real here. We have builders, we have innovators, we have many good protocols on Pulse Chain. We want people to come to Pulse Chain as well. We want to be able to show the value of what this blockchain can do and will do in the future. That's not a shot at Richard Hart whatsoever. He did what he needed to do. He is an outlier. He is a innovator. But the point of the matter is, is Hexy came with a slightly different approach. I think it worked very well in order to get people to come in and even consider Pulse Chain as a blockchain going forward. To me, this was one of the best onboarding tools that we've seen in a long time. And we'll see what the general effects are. We've already had 100,000 listeners within the space of a couple of hours re-listening to the crypto space. We'll see what happens in the future in terms of the results of that. But I was very, very impressed at how Hexibastard had conducted himself, talking about Nine Inch, talking about Pulse Chain, talking about the meme aspect of things, talking about where we're going in the future. Pulse Chain is the future. And the Ethereum guys need to know that. They need to know what's available. They need to know that we are building, we're innovating. It's a brand new chain and they can bridge their assets across. So check this out. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I want to know if you feel like it was a good pitch or if you thought it was absolute trash. Let me know below. Hexy, you got to unmute, man. GM, GM, sorry. I was just waiting for you guys to get on with what you're doing. GM, guys, thanks for having yeah, me on. Yeah. Man, who came up with it? Who came up with the name Nine Inch? <laughs> it was a it was a friend of mine who I was hanging out with down in London. Um, he said, "You know how we've got One Inch IO. What if you did Nine Inch IO?" And yeah, but why don't go 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 with it? Like. Go with it. But man, you got to reach out to the mass audience. Uh, the average penis size I've looked it up is four point five inch. Why go all the way to nine? I don't know where you come up with that with that name. Um, <laughs> but I don't, I, I, I'm sure it's going to get the attention. Look for anyone that doesn't know, nine inches of Dex. That's, I'm going to try to give you a quick overview. It's a Dex focus on meme coins. Really that simple. You're going to tell us why why you guys are going to lead the meme coin. Um, you know, lead meme coin trading. Are you already leading any metrics to share? But tell us more about what nine inches and why people should bother checking it out over one inch and others. Yeah, so um, nine inches essentially a decentralized exchange. It's a fork of pancake swap with a few improvements. Um, we're going for the meme coin, uh, you know, space, the meme coin niche because there we feel like it's a quite underserviced part of crypto. Everyone knows about meme coins, but uh, usually they would just trade them on Uniswap or or centralized exchanges, things like that. Um, we thought that this would be quite a good niche to go for because whether you love meme coins or hate them, I actually used to be hugely against meme coins a couple of years ago, but you can't argue with the volume and the attention that they bring to the space in general. Um, obviously the name nine inch, yeah, you're absolutely right. It's a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit of a, of a stretch for most it's people. A good, it's, but, a good, uh, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, it's a good day. I'm just messing with you, man. It definitely grabs attention. Um, but what, what, how, how will you become then? Are you, 
any metrics to share and how will you become number one when it comes to meme coins? So any meme coin traders right now, what's their incentive to go out and check out Nine Inch? And just by the way, anyone listening, going to check it out. It's pinned. The tweet is pinned at the top. And, um, you know, Hexy and Nine Inch are both on, on stage. But why should they check it out? What makes you different? So we're different because of the, the branding potential that we got. We're also coming into the space with a huge following from the Pulse Chain, Hex and Pulse Chain community. So uh, I've been, uh, I, I hate the term influencer, but I've been an influencer, I suppose, in the Hex and Pulse Chain community for like almost three years now. Got quite a good name for myself over there. And um, those guys support me massively. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to bridge the gap over on the Ethereum side. We're bringing the tokenomics of uh, Pulse X, if any of you are familiar with that, they've got a thing on there based on volume. There's a buy and burn on the core token Pulse X. Uh, we've got the same thing with Nine Inch. So as volume goes through the decks, it benefits Nine Inch holders because we're constantly buying and burning the tokens. Um, the incentive to for the meme coin guys to come over is that we're going to have uh, liquidity farms and single sided staking pools. So that's going to encourage people over a little bit like Sushi Swap did. Uh, so if your coin so the nine inch token is a DAO token. So if you own some of those, you can vote for your token to have a, uh, have a liquidity farm and you can go in there and then by staking your LP, you will receive a bonus token, which is called big bonus coin, AKA BBC. Uh, definitely nothing dirty about that one. Um, so yeah, it's basically, we're going to, we're going to kind of vampire attack, but in a sort of handshake way. So we're going to try and remove liquidity from Uniswap by looking after people a little bit better over on our side by rewarding them for putting the LP on our side. Very similar to pancake swap, except we've got the advanced economics of having buy and burn pressure based upon the volume that goes through the deck. Well, what's your liquidity like? Any metrics to share and have you raised any money? How'd you get to where you are today? Yeah. So on, um, Liquidity at the moment, I think we're somewhere in the region of like 26 million, 25, 26 million across both Ethereum and Pulse Chain. We're already the number two decks on Pulse Chain. Uh, we're currently doing about 10% of the uh, of the volume that Pulse X is doing, which is quite quite amazing already. Um, for a short while, we were. Well, the sorry, what, perc- so what, what percentage of Pulse X? About 10%. Okay. How long have you yeah. been around for? Uh, today marks two weeks. Oh, shit, you're brand new. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally launched. In fact, I think it's 13 days, actually. Let me be accurate. Yeah, 13 days. We've been around. Uh, we've been the number two decks on Pulse Chain ever since we launched. For a short while, we were number two on Ethereum as well. I think we're third at the moment. I haven't checked it today. Um, but uh, really, I mean, my, my aim here is to kind of bring bridge the gap between the Pulse Chain and the um, Ethereum ecosystem because... Pulse Chain is essentially the same as Ethereum. It's just the fees are way cheaper. So I did some transactions on Nine Inch myself today. I added some liquidity. It cost me about fifty dollars to do that on Ethereum, but on Pulse Chain it cost me a penny. Uh, so that's kind of what we're trying to do here. But uh, realistically, we're trying to eat Uniswap's lunch. We're not entirely keen. I'm sure a lot of people um, who have been following the saga of Uniswap lately aren't entirely keen on some of the things that they're bringing in in the future, as in KYC, and they're also raising the fees. So we've got better fees and there's absolutely no KYC and we don't intend that there ever will be. So, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just trying to bring, bring um, liquidity on Ethereum over to a place where you're going to be treated better. We've got a better front end. We've got additional features, uh, better UI. The branding's amazing. If anyone goes and checks out 9inch.io, there's just memes out the yin-yang all over the place. For example, you don't add liquidity, you insert it, and you don't remove liquidity, you pull it out. So uh, just just little jokes like that all over the place. And um, we're a very memorable brand. I mean, you see that big eggplant <laughs> sat there, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite easy to remember. It's a good name. And, um, you know, we've got, I, I think, like, my, my influence bringing into the Ethereum space with all the Pulse Chain and uh, Hex following that I've got. Uh, I mean, whether you like Richard Hart or you dislike Richard Hart, you can't argue with the following and the desire of his followers. Um, they're very loud and they're very proud. And we're going to bring a little bit of an element of that uh, to, to what we're doing here. But um, we're just going to do it with a little bit of a different flavor. I'm very different to Richard Hart in, this, in the way that I approach things. Um, I'm very much trying to shake hands with everyone. I welcome anyone who has their own protocol to come and get listed on our decks and bring some liquidity there. Um, we have a website. Um, it's nine inch.io forward slash casting couch. If you want to get your token listed on there, you just have to fill out that form. And, uh, and yeah, we're just looking to shake hands with everyone. We want to, we want to be the second largest DEX on Ethereum and Pulse Chain. If we do any kind of similar numbers to, even if we do 1% of the Uniswap volume, the amount of buy and burn pressure that we're going to have on our core token, nine inch, 
is going to be ridiculous. And I really hope that this thing pumps like hell during the uh, during the bull market. I think we've launched at the perfect time as well. Um, just now. Yeah, with the, uh, 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 I agree. We're just like your, your timing is perfect. We're just talking with the guys. We're talking about meme coins. Which I don't follow the meme coin market. I'm looking at your top tokens. So obviously your own token, which I want to learn more about, and uh, the utility of the token uh, is number one. Uh, then you got Pulse is number two, two million, and then the third one is where did the ETH go at 500k liquidity? Um, and then you've <laughs> that's got one of Pulse our tokens as well. Um, so, oh, okay. so there's a bit of an ecosystem here. So uh, originally, I'm the founder of a token called Poor Pleb PP. Uh, so it's all kind of tying in with uh, dick jokes and stuff like that. So PP is my first token that I launched. And originally, we came up with the idea for this because we wanted to do staking and liquidity farming for PP and another token I'm involved in called Pool Stoge. We recently re released Where Did the ETH Go? And uh, if any of you are familiar with Richard Hart, that was quite a big meme about him uh, when he did the Hex launch is he was getting all this Ethereum and everyone was like, where did the ETH go? So our logo is Richard in a sailor outfit. Um, and we just kind of did that for a joke. We distributed it to everyone who was involved in Nine Inch. And that one has actually gone up about 700x since we launched it. So uh, fantastic performance on that one. Uh, but we have our own little ecosystem here that we, that we obviously intend to promote on the DEX. But uh, it is a decentralized exchange. Anyone can come along and buy Nine Inch tokens and vote for a particular token or ticker to get added to the farms. We're going to do this monthly. So every month, mm -hmm. new people can get added to the farm. So it is going to be very decentralized in that way. So, uh, yeah, we, I, I think as well, when new tokens do get listed on our farms, depending on our popularity and how much we grow, I think by getting your token of farm on there, you're probably going to see a bit of a pump as people ape in. Because as, as we all know, when a new liquidity farm is launched, the APY on that is absolutely ridiculous at the beginning until it fills up. Uh, so some of ours, when we launched them, they were at like millions of percent APY for a short time, which even if you're only in for like 10 minutes, that's really good. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah, how, how do you see your stuff getting out of the Pulse ecosystem? Because I'm looking at the first, the, obviously your coin is number one, number two is Pulse, number three is your, your meme coin, and that represents 90 whatever percent of the, the liquidity. Um, then you've got a bunch of stables if you add if you remove them. Then the next number seven is Pulse Dog. Pulse Dog number, number eight is your, your coin again on ETH, then Big Bonus Coin. I'm guessing, so Big Bonus Coin and Poor Pleb, are they both in the Pulse ecosystem? Well, uh, all of our tokens, so uh, the, the ones in our ecosystem is 9inch, BBC, uh, PP, PLD, Pool Stoge, and then uh, where did the ETH go? All of these are on Ethereum and on, on Pulse Chain. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is how we intend to do everything. And you can actually bridge over these tokens either to Pulse Chain or to uh, Ethereum, and you can farm with them uh, in that way as well. So it's, it's quite easy to do that. The way that we intend to do it is simply by shaking hands. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with a character called The Dev. Hey, it's me, The Dev. Any of you know no, look, I'm, I'm really outside the meme coin world, man. I'm the worst at that, so I'm just well, I'm learning here. Well, this, this guy's done videos with CZ, BitBoy. Uh, God, lo loads of guys, loads of guys. He's, he's quite a viral figure in a... Maybe it is more in the meme coin space, but if you didn't already know, he's the guy that developed Bitcoin. So, I mean, geez, you know, but that's kind of the meme, I suppose. He's, he's one of the guys, that team there, we've, we've onboarded them and they're like a huge supporter of us. I've done a couple of videos with him already. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just looking to shake hands. I mean, obviously the ETH crowd is, is very, it's very hard to break in there, but we've got a very unique approach. And the way that I've been developing my brand, the Hexy Bastard brand, um we're we're just we're just memeing the hell out of everything so um again the low-hanging fruit for us is the richard hart ecosystem because i'm already kind of in there with all those guys most people know who i am already um so one of the things we're working on at the moment is are any of you familiar with a film called the highest of stakes uh, which came out recently and it's the, sort of a documentary about richard hart and hex and things like that um we're doing a parody of that called the lowest of stakes so uh, we've been out filming that over the last couple months and having uh, literally the time of my life filming this. It's absolutely hilarious. Things like this are going to help because even people who dislike Richard Hart, of which I guess in the Ethereum general crypto space, there's quite a few. Guys, you either love him or you hate him, right? So this is going to attract the guys that hate him because we're basically taking the piss out of him the, the whole way through the, through the film in, in a nice way. You know, we're not, I, I respect him, but yeah, we're just, we're just memeing him. So this is one of the approaches, but there's there's a lot of ways to do it. I mean, the thing is, money talks, right? So let's say, for example, Pepe. That's quite a popular one at the moment. When we release a Pepe farm, which we will be doing in the next few days, I believe, 
um, that's going to attract a lot of their users over just simply on the fact that if they're LP providers anyway, they can come and provide LP here and they get paid for the, for the, um, for the fact of doing it. So not only do they get their liquidity fees as normal, they also will get um, paid in the BBC token for, for farming with it. Another thing to put, quickly point out as well is that our fees are cheaper than Uniswap and also at, we are more gas efficient than Uniswap as well. So we're about 20% cheaper on gas than Uniswap. So even if people aren't using us directly, we've all heard of One Inch and Matcha and uh, CowSwap and things like that, these are aggregators. If you're looking to buy something on an aggregator and our liquidity is good and the fees are cheaper and the gas is cheaper, the aggregator is going to choose us. So that we're going to get a lot of users using us without even realizing they're using us because all they do is scour the blockchain for the best deal. So if we've got lower fees and lower gas, it's it's, prob it's quite likely that they're going to root via us. Now, this is only obviously for pairs that we've got liquidity on, but if we can entice these bigger coins like Pepe or Shiba Inu or whoever else to come and use ADEX instead, then it's quite likely that all the aggregators are going to use us. And when the aggregators do use us, that means that the nine inch holders get to benefit from the additional buy and burn. There was a time where Pepe was doing over $100 million of volume every single day for about two weeks. It was, it was going up to about $200 million of volume every day. That's a crazy amount of buy and burn potential uh, that, that our holders could could take advantage of. So, uh, so yeah, I, th I think overall what we've got going on here, the tokenomics are fantastic and the uh, the branding is fantastic. Uh, all we need to do now is get the word out, and I think uh, I think people are going to follow. Um, there's money to be made here, guys. Cool. Um, all, I think the, the best strategy is you guys partnering. So you got to get all these meme coins to to list on on Nine Inch, and then they'll get their community with them. That's your main focus right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, as I said, uh, shaking hands with everyone. Um, we're we're very open. We want to work with people as much as we can, and uh, we have got a lot of a lot of guys that we're talking to. I think we had something like 120 different tokens apply to be listed before we launched. So that's already quite bullish. Um, I think about 70% of them were on the Pulse Chain side. So we're definitely going to be dominating on the Pulse Chain side, without a doubt. Uh, but I think Ethereum side is the silent sleeper because Ethereum obviously has a lot more money on it right now. It's just that I, I feel a bit bad for Ethereum users with the, with the extent of the gas fees right now. It, it really does suck when you've got to pay, I don't know, $40 to do a trade or something like that. Uh, so hopefully we can use this tool to get a few people over to Pulse Chain as well. But that's not really our aim here. Our aim is just to have thick liquidity and offer a better service and lower fees to anyone who decides that they want to use us. A lot of token founders have been in touch inquiring about how to do this. And as I said, I think it's about 120 different tokens that apply to be listed beforehand. And this is when no one knew about us. So I think in future, we're just going to continue to grow. And as we get bigger, it's like a downhill snowball effect. So as we... As we chunk, you know, say we get the Pepe guys on board, then it becomes a lot easier to get the Shiba Inu guys on board and so on and so on sure. and so on. So, uh, yeah, as, as we grow, it will, it will develop very, very fast. And I, I think we're honestly we're on to a winner here. I think that without giving any expectations, I think the product that we've built here should be worth billions of dollars market cap eventually. Cool. But, uh, Good know, luck with it. Good luck with what you're doing, man. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm completely out of the meme coin world, but I respect that you've bootstrapped this. And, uh, you know, the, the, the strategy makes sense. Um, so I wish you all the best. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you sponsoring the show. Anyone that wants to check out Nine Inch, check out on the pinned tweet at the top. And um, you can chat to them. You can communicate. You can reach out to them. Hexy is on stage as well. You can hit him up. But otherwise, Ryan and Scott disappeared. Scott has an emergency, and Ryan probably dropped out. Um, so I'll wrap up the show. Really appreciate it, everyone. Appreciate Hexy coming on and talking about Nine Inch. And we'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye, everyone.